Let's move on now. Top story number two is the Redmi Note 6 Pro. Pretty much these two phones have come almost simultaneously. And the high end of the Realme U1 and the starter of this, the Redmi Note 6 Pro, are almost the same price. So I will do a shootout at the end of it. I'll take you through what we have now on the Redmi Note 6 Pro. So this phone, of course, once again, once you have it in your hand, you will immediately feel that it's got a good hand feel, but maybe not as good as the Realme U1. This one is a little bit wider, even though the screen is not that much larger. The second thing is, of course, that it doesn't look as premium. But, you know, why am I saying all these things? We'll do that in the shootout. Let me just talk about the phone right now. So the back has a dual camera, fingerprint scanner. The front has a dual camera. So this becomes the first quad camera phone from Redmi. And this is the other part that I think is interesting. There are now companies like Samsung that are putting a quad camera just at the back. But the main feature that Redmi or Xiaomi has done on this phone is two at the front, two at the back. And if you really do want a quick comparison, I will show you that also as part of our review. Because that's become the big question that if you own the Redmi Note 5 Pro, should you be buying this? Predominantly, and you will see it in our review, predominantly it's just the quad camera. So you move from three cameras to four. Let's see if there's any other difference. You know a company has big shoes to fill when they have made, claimed and owned the mid-range under 15k segment with their last few phones. Meet the next in line from the supremely popular Redmi Note series. This is the Redmi Note 6 Pro which comes at a similar price point as its predecessor the Redmi Note 5 Pro. This one starts at 13,999 rupees for the 4GB RAM variant. But what are the big leaps that Xiaomi has made from the predecessor? And does this one live up to filling in those enormous shoes its series has created? Let's find out. The Redmi Note 6 Pro looks similar to the Redmi Note 5 Pro, but it has a larger notch display and a 6.26 inch Full HD Plus display. The display is quite clear and the brightness really stands out. This phone boasts of a 500 nit maximum brightness which is comfortable to look at even under direct sunlight. The phone is a good fit in the hand. It doesn't feel too big but it is slightly slippery in nature so we would recommend strapping on a cover on this one. Although it does come with Corning Gorilla Glass protection. It comes in different colours including rose gold, blue and red. We got the black variant with 6GB RAM and 64GB of storage for review. While the Redmi Note 6 Pro doesn't quite turn heads with its design, it is its all-new camera that really takes the spotlight. It has what Xiaomi is calling quad camera, which of course is a dual camera on the rear and now in the front. I think you know we all uh, have evolved towards uh, making camera the most important feature on our smartphone. Uh, and that's the feature where uh, this particular device with the dual camera set up on the front and the back, which is why we're calling it a quad camera all-rounder, uh, actually sets head and shoulders above any other device in this market. The cameras, when tried in good light, performed well. The AI wizardry in the camera was good as well and the camera's a 12 megapixel and 5 megapixel lens on the rear. Low light images were good and in fact much better than the Redmi Note 5 Pro. The front camera impresses with a 20 and 2 megapixel dual camera on the front. The depth in portrait mode of selfies could definitely be seen but we wish that the edges were a bit more defined. That said, there were lots of light trails and studio lighting effects to play around with, giving a great selfie experience. We must add here that the video mode does not include shooting in 4K just yet. Xiaomi doesn't shake things up much with the chipset and battery. There's a Snapdragon 636 chipset, the phone runs well, and there is no lag that we felt while gaming or even browsing. The battery is a massive 4000 mAh with quick charge support, but unfortunately the fast charger does not come bundled with the phone. The phone comes with Android Oreo 8.1 topped with MIUI 10. This one needs some warming up to and we wish that Xiaomi had got the sweet surprise Pi update with this launch of theirs. There's a fingerprint scanner at the back to unlock the phone and it works as promised. Our verdict? Well, Xiaomi pulls out all the plugs with the Redmi Note 6 Pro on the imaging front. The front camera is good, the low light shot stood out. The phone is a great performer as a whole and with a large battery, it's pretty reliable. Starting at 13,999 rupees and going up to 15,999 rupees for the 6GB RAM variant, it packs in quite a punch in this segment. For those who own the Redmi Note 5 Pro, it doesn't make for much of an upgrade but for anyone else looking at a phone around this price range, this Pro is the way to go.